Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and today I'll briefly talk about which theory to use to write about any literary text or other text. Now, I get this question every now and then through my website or through the channel where people want to know, oh, I'm studying this novel, can I use this theory to study this novel or write about this novel? Now, primarily you can use any theoretical approach to read any text or write about it. But your choice of theory will depend on what you want to do with the text. So technically, any theory or theoretical approach could be used to write about any text or read any text critically. So let's say you're reading a feminist novel, right? Now obviously if you're interested in women's issues or gender issues or issues of power that impact women's life, then you will use feminism. But feminism isn't one concept, right? Then you'll have to decide within that which feminists are you going to use, whose work, right? And then you will first explain your understanding of that work and then perform a feminist reading of a given novel or, or a novella, right? Jean Ray says, White Sargasso Sea for example. Similarly, you know, if you want to do a materialistic reading or Marxist reading of a novel, right, you will have to decide who do you want to use. Do you want to use Marx? If you're going to use Marx, which particular insight of Marx or which particular work of Marx? And then if you look at a novel, what is it you're going to see there? What is it that you want to discuss just the apparent aspects of the novel, what is the class struggle, what is the class divide, or do you want to go deeper into seeing whose point of view, whose ideology does the novel privilege? And if you want to do another layered Marxist reading of it, you could pick up a novel and say, well, this is offered as a progressive novel, but if you read it carefully enough, you will realize that it privileges the bourgeois point of view as the norm, right? So the reason I'm recording this is because I'm often baffled by a question like that when someone says, you know, I'm reading three novels by Kamila Shamsi. Can I apply this theory to it? And to me, that's sort of a non-question because of course you can apply any theory to the novel, but you technically don't apply theory. You develop a theoretical understanding of reading or texts, and it's that understanding that allows you to write about a text or read a text from that particular perspective. And a lot of people also expect themselves or others to just always use one theoretical approach. I'm a feminist, I'm a Marxist, right? Even though there are connotations within those theoretical fields as well. Personally, I have been very eclectic. So whenever I plan a book or plan an article or a book chapter, I first, you know, try to understand what is it that I'm trying to seek or trying to say through reading this particular text critically. And then I decide who would be more useful for me to use in writing about that text. If it is Foucault, I'll use Foucault. If it is Derrida, I will use Derrida. If it is Marx or Leotard. So that kind of eclecticism on one hand denies you this deep expertise in one theoretical approach, but on the other hand, it enables you to use the tools that are available to perform a certain task that you have chosen for yourself. So in future, you know, if you are writing a proposal or a 
proposing a paper or a dissertation topic, first of all, I have quite a lot of materials on the channel. Please go through them. But do remember that you are the ultimate arbiter of which theoretical approach to use, how to use it, and what to do with it as you read texts and write about them. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are no single answers in humanities, in literary studies. What you extrapolate from a text or write about a text will depend on your situation, your politics, your gender, right? Your worldview, and then whosoever you have read in theory or criticism and how have those thoughts and ideas impacted your way of looking at the text and all of that you will bring to bear on an act of reading or act of writing. So remember, if you're ever perplexed about can I use this to read this, you know, you don't need anyone's permission for that. All you need is a thorough knowledge of whichever theoretical approach you're using and then in your proposal or abstract you give a reason why you're using this, why it is important and what difference would it make in that given field in which you're writing. Right? So let's assume, let me give you an example. Let's say I want to write a paper on Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. You know a highly anthologized and problematic text. Now, I could say I would like to do a materialistic reading of the text. What is a materialistic or Marxist reading, right? That's what I would like to do. So in order to do that, I would then try to say, okay, what is the economy at play here? How are different classes represented? Does Marlowe constitute one particular class, and if he does, is it his worldview that we are watching as we read the novel? Is it his worldview that underwrites our assumptions about the novel or what is represented? So that's me looking at the class consciousness of the narrator himself and then pointing out that what he is seeing or reporting or representing is not necessarily universal but it is coming from that class point of view. That would be a Marxist reading, a simple Marxist reading of Heart of Darkness. So, to conclude, there is never a single theory that you use or can use to answer questions of literature definitively. You can use any theory to read a novel or to write about a novel. Chances are, if you have read theoretical approaches carefully enough and have internalized some of your knowledge, you're already reading with that perspective already internalized. Right? But so when you're coming up with a project, maybe part of it would be defining why am I reading like this? And then understand, oh, I'm reading it as a proto-feminist. I'm reading it as a Marxist, I'm reading it as someone informed by Althusser, right? Or Franco Berardi or other Marxists. And then writing that in your proposal or in your abstract. So I hope this answers a question that comes up every now and then on this channel and on my website. Please do let me know what you think. And if you have any other questions, which I may or may not be able to answer, please send them my way. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of each other. Please continue to do so. Be kind and generous to others. And I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.